right up until now. There we go. Kaylin, you want to know if there are many insects there, insects here. Well, Kaylin, there you go. You have an answer to your question as our stick insect it races away down my back. This is an insect that pretends to be a stick. And they're very, very good at keeping very, very still, which means that they camouflage themselves spectacularly. And stick insects are found almost all over the world because they're such a clever design for an insect. I don't know how on earth I'm going to get this one off now. I'm going to have to recruit some help. But this is now my special friend, the stick insect that has spent a great deal of time on my shirt. And that is how they disappear. And just to let you know, while we're on this bushwalk, we do have a gentleman with us called Herbie. Herbie is a fantastic guide and tracker. No, Herbie. Yeah. Herbie's standing there. Now, Herbie's job is to help us track down things. He's got expert bush knowledge, and he is very, very good at keeping us safe because a lot of the time I'm talking to you, I'm focusing on answering your questions, and I'm not necessarily constantly looking to see exactly what's going on around me because I've got the earpiece in my ear. So Herbie's there to walk a little bit ahead of us and make sure that we're not about to, say, step on the tail of a lion or perhaps bounce off the bottom of an elephant. All of those are things that we would really rather avoid doing. I'm trying to... Okay, I give up. I, can't, I don't even think I can reach that part of my back now. It's now just there. Thumb up your hair. It is now... Now it's in my hair. Okay. Well, I guess it'll have to live there for the rest of this bushwalk. Ilana, you want to know how many different types of trees that we get out here. Ilana, lots and lots, hundreds of different types of trees.